Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Toying with Toy. Thanks for stepping in. So today we're making this structured spiral design. You can see I've put it on so many ways on this dress, okay? It's very easy to make, okay? You can and it's spiral, it is it's something you can use in different different ways to get different different designs. Okay, you can see we use it for different designs here. This is another one. This is another one that I curved and I show you. So let's go straight into our video. So basically, the things we're going to be needing now are our ganza. Okay, I have one and a half yards of one yard of a ganza. It's by sixty. I also have my fishing line. Okay, this fishing line is one point two millimeters or one point two m. I think it's the thickness of it that is the one point two okay i'm also going to be using the same corresponding thread you have to use the same color of thread of the organza so that it will not show so right here at the edge of the fabric we're going to be working with one edge of the fabric we're going to fold it in by one quarter inch like one one eighth inch then another one quarter inch okay we're going to fold it in and fold it all the end to the end the side of the of the organza okay not on the selvage but just at the side where it was cut okay we're going to make a neat finishing on that side and we'll be doing it to the two sides okay fold it in by one eighth an inch then also fold it in again by one quarter of an inch so i've brought it to my sewing machine now I ironed it. Please always make sure that we iron before you iron it before starting because it also makes the stitches neater. But as I said, you can see fold it in by one quarter an inch, one eighth an inch, pardon me, then one quarter an inch again. It just helps to give you a very neat finishing. Then you sew down completely all the way to the end on the two edges. As you can see here, I'm done sewing the two edges down and it's very neat. These are the little, little things that we need to do to make our work come out neatly. That's the other side also. It's neat. You can give it a first pressing, ironing down. If not, just, just go ahead into making the casing for the fishing line. That's what we're going to be doing next. So for the casing for the fishing line, you're going to take one end, okay, and you're going to fold it in about one inch. You're going to fold it in on one side, okay, close to where we have hemmed. Look, just look at my hand, see the way I folded it in, okay. Fold it in like one inch, all the way down. This particular point uh, process, and just fold it in by one inch, okay. They are just going to be sewing like one one eighth of an inch just by the edge of that fold okay just by the edge of the fold the best foot to use for this is to use a zipper foot the zipper foot is the best type of foot to use for this because it gives you the exact amount that will be used for the fishing edge for the fishing line so fold it by one inch and just fold it back like that so it's right there on my machine i'll show us how it's been done So I finished sewing down the first line and you can see it just neatly I've sewn down the first line so you open it up again after you're taking the first line look at my hands open it up again 
okay make another fold after that first casing that you have made okay open make another fold by of one inch again then sew it down all the way to the end like you did the first casing so I'm done with all this the casings I've finished sewing all of them down now the next thing I'm going to be doing now is take it to my ironing board and go and iron everything, all the casings, the whole organza, the whole thing, I'm going to iron everything out. After ironing it out, I will spread it out neatly and you will see what we'll be doing next. So at this point I've ironed it out and now I'm taking my fishing line, okay? Now I'm going to be inserting my fishing line into every of the casings, starting from the very first one. I'm going to insert the fishing line inside it and stretch it out. While I'm inserting it, I'll be fixing it and you'll see it will start curling. The more you put, the more it will start curling, it will start forming a design. So you see as we're putting it inside, just be pushing it inside and dragging it at the other end. Pushing it inside and drag at the other end. When you get to the end, you leave a, an allowance of about one inch to the edge, at the edge of the fishing line. Leave about allowance of one inch, okay? Extra of one inch at the edge. So now I'm going to, at the end, so now I'm going to be putting in fishing line into all of the casings. Just follow me and you'll see the outcome. Don't subscribe. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything. Subscribe, help this channel to grow. Please press on the notification bell, okay? The notification bell will notify you when I drop new content. Also, like, share, drop your comments. I love replying to everybody's comments, okay? So, thank you very much for all my new subscribers. This is me, Toyin, saying thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate you and I hope to see you soon in the next one. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.